Promotions boxing show in association with Salford City Boxing Academy. We've got Adam Haig in the ring now. Fighting out of Beard's gym. In He's in there against Michael Mooney. I'm Aki Kareem. I'm joined by Lee Carter in the commentary position. How are you, Lee? Good, thank you, so far, All right, mate. I'm all good. And I uh, always look forward to seeing Adam box. He's a nice little compact boxer. Yeah, I turned all around about the same time as Adam. Interviewed him recently, and he basically said, "Look, I'm tired of being overlooked. Um, it's my time now." So, I think he's got big plans for the coming, uh, the coming. Uh yeah, well, I know he's fighting Michael Mooney tonight. I've been on the same shows as Michael uh, in the away end, and he always comes to put on a fight. Yeah, again, another guy with a depth of experience. I'm um, just looking at his uh, record here. I mean, he's he's had over 70 fights, you know. He knows his way around the ring, that's for certain. There's that counting again. One thing about Adam is uh, he really, he's really great with his ring positioning. And um, he's, just, he's just one of them sharp fighters, you know. Picks his shots really well. He's got a nice jab when he uses it. Puts them together well. Of course, he trains over uh, with uh, Lee Beard, Jono. He's getting off to a nice composed start as well. Controlling the ring well. Just needs to uh, find a way to just close the range a little bit here, maybe fate his way in or oh, there we go. Well, we're winning on the inside. Delivered some beautiful shots. Yeah, I think you have Michael a little bit of a win. Especially then. the left up to the body, yeah. I know he's not been as active as he likes, Adam, but obviously now he wants to get on moving up things. Yeah, yeah. He's got a new uh, new mentality uh, about him uh, as Adam. I think he's ready for his breakout fight. But these are the ones you can't take your right off, as we've said before. you got to get the job done. And so far he's doing a great job. Controlling um, pretty much all the aspects of the fight so far. He's like a baby face assassin, isn't he? He looks about 12, but... Yeah, you, you want to serve the bear, would you? <laughs> but, you know, he's had great sparring over the years as well. He's, he's, he's had, um, you know, oh, he's, he's had... A over fantastic trainer in Lee Bear as well. Yeah, very good technical trainer as well. So, yeah, he's got everything he needs. And a good opening round. Yeah. 
Round number two, we're over at the AJ Bell Stadium for the VIP Promotions Show in association with Salford City Boxing Academy. Adam A got off to a good start there. Nice, comfortable round for him. Worked well behind the jab, controlled the ring. In there with Michael Mooney, who's having a go himself at the minute. Nothing to trouble Adam there, though. He's, uh, he's closing the uh, the range uh, a bit better now, Adam, isn't he? He's yeah, he's fighting a very intelligent fight, but Mooney's come out this second round, started to let his hands go a little bit more. He's constantly on the move, Mooney, so, uh, you know, it can be a bit awkward to sort of walk him down and get into that punching range. Adam's do, uh, doing a good job, and he, he can, he's uh, looking good defensively as well. He's comfortable on the back foot. That's all, uh, the good old one down the middle there. He's got a good focus look in his eye as well, Adam, tonight. Yeah, he's not overexerting energy chasing him down. He's cutting the ring off superbly. So you've just done your first um, interview, Lee. You just interviewed Kevin Kingpin Johnson. Yeah. You've done a good job there, mate. Oh, I think I'll... I won't be doing that often, but it's not, when you're interviewing someone like Kevin Johnson, there's a million questions you can ask him. Yeah, he knows his stuff, doesn't he? It's yeah, great yeah. to see him here supporting a local show as well, like this. Nice little uh, left hook. He finished nice left hook to the body. Yeah, Mooney definitely felt that, otherwise he wouldn't have shown the funny face at the end. Nice jab there. Control it all off the jab, can't he, Lee? Yeah, he's controlled everything in the centre of that ring. He's popping his jab out. I think his most dangerous shot tonight has been that left up to the body. Yeah, yeah. Every time he throws it, Mooney seems to wince. And I think if he concentrates now on his early rounds, chopping that tree down. Hey, that's a proper boxing terminology, that, isn't it? Chopping that tree down, Lee. Carl Fox told me once he was chopping trees down before the uh, Grove fight. Is that right? I don't know if he's told you about that. I know, I know he fought in front of 80, was it 80,000 at Wembley? Wembley? Yeah, was it Wembley? I don't know, I don't know if you've heard that. <laughs> oh, and the gum shows out just for the last, the final punch of the round. But uh, I think it was more... Uh, Please come out and in, please check your wallets and pockets. Make sure you have not lost your debit card without a debit card handed in. If you lost your please don't see me at ringside. And you will, of course, be your name. Thank you. Start of a new round here and uh, Adam's got off to a nice smooth start. What are you laughing at? No. <laughs> now, Lee, if you was in the corner, what would you be telling Adam? A bit, just more of the same, or? Exactly more of the same, yeah. Uh, keep doing what he's doing. Nice job there. Pushed him all the way back, the, back across the ring with that jab. What more should Adam tonight? He's punching him a lot more spiteful than normal. I think he is more spiteful in general. Just in his old demeanour and everything, um, building up to building up to this one. As I say, company was, um, you know, he's basically like saying, "Don't underestimate me." You know, I'm 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 ready for the breakout now, and I believe he's ready. I believe he's ready. We're going off start tonight's performance. He's actually doing what he's saying. Yeah, but it's a professional performance, so he's not overcommitting, he's not he's not going silly. he knows he's got um he's a level above his opponent, but he's not he's not going silly with it, you know, he's nice and educated. He's working on the things that obviously Lee Bears told him and John has told him in the gym. Nice, there's that left up. You're right, every time he lands it he wins. Yeah. Maybe he's a little bit more. 
Oh, yeah, he's definitely he got through really with that one as well, I think. There. I think he so. He a few rounds doing this body work. I think he, he could have moved in big trouble in like the last five, six months. It's all about chopping that tree down, isn't it? Chopping the tree down, Carl Fox said. You ever chopped a tree down? No, I've had a few of a car. That's another story for a different day. <laughs> Measured performance is this from Adam, isn't it? And it, gotta give Mooney credit as well because he has big body shots and he's uh, still there, still trying to come forward when he can. Yeah, Mooney's tough as they come, but it's a bit of a vicious performance to us now by Adam. Eh? It's calculated. It's um, he's almost stalking. Well, calculated. Calculated. You like it? What vicious. The, calculated. Yeah. You like, you like it? What other words you like? In fact, we better not go into that. Oh, there's that left hook again. Body shots then. Shots nicely towards the end of that round and uh, another one in the back for him. Fantastic round by Adam, that. Yeah, yeah. Looking good at the minute. Yeah. Round number four. Here we go. It's uh, Adam Haig in there against Michael Mooney and Adam's putting on a great performance at the minute and uh, his corner wants him, I'm hearing his corner wants him on the front foot here oh that's a nice shot every time he lands on body shots is a pause and I think it's, it's causing Mooney to try and close the range isn't it because he doesn't want to feel that shot again definitely feeling them isn't he Lee oh, you can see every time he gets hit the gum shield's coming out of his mouth a little bit and it's always things like Mooney, normally Mooney comes out throws loads of punches. He's thinking twice because you know as soon as he lets the man's go, that body shots are coming. Yeah. Well you've got two options, haven't you? You've got to get really in close or you've got to go all the way out. So he's just he's no man's land at the minute. Yeah, where well, everything's cracking right into him. It's not the place to be. Looking for that nice uppercut there on the inside. Nice, you, you see uh, shoulder and elbow, I like all that sort of stuff, the technical stuff. He's got a nice repertoire of stuff, really, hasn't he, Adam? Nice body, head. This is really a bit of commentating. He's doing this. No, I can't, come on, it's not. <laughs> It's a lot harder than what you think. You're trying to tell us to people for years, you know. It's not as easy as you think, is it? Definitely not. Well, 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 yeah, very nice. There you go. Nice little stopping jab there. like a predatory performance isn't it because he knows he's hurt he knows he's hurting him but he's just breaking him down chopping the tree okay. there's that tree again I think it is quite right I think it is quite right for performance I think it is I think he's been brilliant for now yeah and it's, it's good to see um that's the bad because we know it's in there and he's told us it's in there and uh you know I'm not you know the fight obviously the fight's not over yet but we come through this uh I'm looking forward to seeing him getting back in that mix, you know, with them domestic fights and uh, and beyond. He's stalking his prey now. That's what you get the sense of he's doing. There's that left up to the body. He knows it's... Round 
on number five, Adam Hager. Great performance so far. Yeah, definitely. If he was in Adam's corner now, he's, I think obviously it's been a spark for the course, but he's, he's only really been in first, second gear. You can know he can go up a level. Would you push him on to that now? As in, in these closing rounds? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would actually. I'd say go out there and make a statement. And I think actually he's come out there with the intention to do it. But yeah, I would lead to be honest. He's in complete control. He's picking his um, man apart systematically. I'd say, yeah, I'd say go out and... Uh, Moon is starting to mark up now as well. Yeah. Nice. I think he is going through the gears, Lee. Nice, nice. That's the counter shot there. That's some... Good comeback from Mooney though, through the right hand over the top and fair play to him for doing so. Just saying, you know what I'm saying, you know. But I think the, you know, as we've pointed out, the body shots have really slowed Mooney's, uh, Moon, Mooney's ambition down. But They're on the forefront of everything he's thinking about when he's stepping forward, stepping yeah. back. He's always thinking, where's my hands there? Yeah. Oh, that little right um, body shot went in nice there. Everyone in the away corner tonight has come to do, you know, come to uh, make it a fight, haven't they? Oh, they're all of them are fantastic. Credit to anyone who steps in them room, uh, through them ropes, okay? I agree with what you said as well. Like, it's great to see, um, you know, not in any weird way, but it's great to see a lot of the English journeymen out and the Irish, you know, the UK journeymen out because. Like you say, you know, the, the spotlight's on them as well and they like to put on a good performance. Well, they fight a lot harder than what the foreign lads do, if you're honest. How many times have you seen the foreign lads come over and put his hands up and just walk away for four rounds? <laughs> but yeah, I think all, all three of the uh, away fighters tonight have been a credit to themselves. Definitely, and, and just looking down at who else we've got to come, <laughs> we've got Louis Van Booch and Taka Van Berry. Learn their two out of the top draw as well. So it's good matchmaking tonight. Um, yeah, the fans have got exactly what they want and they paid the, what, £30 for a ticket? Yeah. The venues are nice. Yeah, yeah. They've got to meet you and see you after. Correct. I've charged £5 a photo. Uh, but it's brought away with 10 quid. Great job by Adam there. And back to uh, Adam's performance because he's. he's brutal performance in my book. Another great round by Adam. I think when you the uh, career of Michael Moon is going to remain but remember the May's name. Final round, Adam made great performance and credit to Michael Mooney for sticking with it. Um, but yeah, more of the same from Adam. Good start yeah. with some two good body shots there. Straight out of the trap, some of the few body shots. John o calling out for second phase here, so uh, they are they are looking for him to, uh, you know, come on strong here in the last round. I bet it's Michael Mooney here, John O'Shaughnessy. Oh, second phase. Oh, he took a deep breath. Yeah. That was a really deep body shot there. I think he's doing what you said there. I can know he's coming right through the gears now. Another one as well. He's feeling this Michael Mooney now. But there is an argument, to, you know, when you're winning the fight this convincingly, just stick to what you're doing. But I think Adam in when you can just tell in his eyes the way he's uh, putting his shots together. I think he wants to make a statement himself. You, you can see that the way he's trying to finish him off now. Does that nice as well, so he's, he's still aware of what's coming back, which is good, a good sign. I'll give him Mooney respect here, mate, because body shots, man, they've been big body shots. Oh, 90% of you foreign German are coming over and not taking that. Well, it's been an absolute quality performance from Adam tonight, up to now. Good counter. 
He's blocking. He's mean. He's mean tonight. He's mean tonight. It's good. He knows what's in his opponent, and he's just do. He's just. He's just using it. And Lee and John are both calling for that. Mooney really blowing now. But he's coming back and he, you know, fair play to him, but you know, he, I think he may be there for the taking. And Adam's commentarily, he's back, back off the docks. Yeah, dominated performance. Adam Aik, and I'm going to give big props to Michael Mooney for staying with it. A lot of other fighters may yeah. have looked for the exit there. Fair play to him. Quality performance from Adam tonight. Really nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the six rounds of action goes to referee Mark Lyson Sorgan. He scores the contest at 60 points. Two fifty-four points in favour of your winner, from Manchester, Adam. Yeah, just. Please yeah, a lot. And looking forward to seeing him out again. Hello. Sorry. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.